In 1982, Jim Henson, creator of The Muppets, released a film he considered to be his masterpiece. This film featured not a single human character, utilizing nearly all impractical camera effects. A mastery of cinema, art, and craft, this film would change how films were made and a generation of kids who would later discover it. The people behind the creation of The Dark Crystal were such masters of their craft that, before the film was completed, Frank Oz, the co-director, and Wendy Froud, a lead puppet builder, were tapped to create and puppeteer Yoda, which would pave the way for the success of The Dark Crystal. In 2014, a conversation between two lifelong fans of The Dark Crystal began with one question. What if we made a documentary about the cultural and artistic effects of The Dark Crystal? So my parents would always record TV shows and films through the VHS player, and The Dark Crystal just happened to be one of those films. So when I saw the film, I was immediately blown away by, by just how real the world uh, felt to me as a child. I remember um, walking by a living room or a friend's house or whatever, and they were watching this movie, and I could tell right away that this movie was very, very different. Um, it. It was, it just felt different. There was something textural about it, um, something magical about this. And it just blew me away. And so I b borrowed their videotape and I watched it a couple of times and I was just obsessed. My life was changed in many ways. And so I became obsessed with The Dark Crystal. At one point I watched the film 28 times in a week. It's just one of those films that I can just sit back, relax and enjoy it and simply immerse myself. And uh, that's really, what changed me as a child creatively. In 2014, I released a documentary uh, called No Place to Call Home that really covered some very dark subject matter. It took five years of my life, and to be honest, I don't know how I finished it, but I did, and I released it through Vimeo On Demand. In February 2009, there was a big disastrous bushfires, later known as Black Saturday. And from that experience, I decided that I needed to tell the story about how my family survived Black Saturday. After, after it finished, um, I kind of was going through a, a bit of a postpartum after working on a project for five years and it kind of takes everything out from you. I just, I, I knew I wanted to work on something that brought me joy. A couple of years ago, the Jim Henson Company launched an official Dark Crystal website. And also there was a Facebook fan group dedicated to the film as well. So it was those two things that really motivated me to make a podcast about The Dark Crystal. But not just like fans, and there were a lot of fans, but people who worked on the film, like Mike Quinn, like Timothy Clark, like Toby Philpott, all these people who had worked on this film that I've idolized most of my life. And just things like the Landstriders didn't exist. When I first uh, joined the crew, and we were workshopping to try and invent weird creatures. I mean, four of us would stand back to back, link arms and try and make a, an eight-legged spider and then go, could you put a costume over that? We'd be running out of the studio doing weird things. And Robbie Barnett came in. He was another clown like me, another street performer, but he was a stilt walker. And he came in with his six foot stilts just to show them, you know, and said, uh, and you could put front legs on this. And then he started wandering around and somebody went, aha, wolf, look at this. Let's, let's build something around that. We spent so much time and work putting in these minute details from even the beads on the mystic's clothing. The same thing is true with, you know, the characters in the sets that moved, you know, like every, every single thing was handmade. So a couple episodes into producing the podcast, Jamie approached me and we chatted over Skype conversations about the Dark Crystal. So we connected and my gears were turning in my head like, Something has to be done. And I, I immediately thought a documentary has to be made about this movie. A movie that very few people know about. A movie that, you know, at one point I tweeted James Gunn saying, have you been inspired on your work of Guardians of the Galaxy by the Dark Crystal? And have you seen it? And he tweets me back and he says, I'm not really sure. And I thought, you know what? This is why this documentary needs to be done because the world needs to know about this. That still looks better than most films today. That passes the test of time. I see kind of, what the Dark Crystal, what role it played for me in my life, and it was really an ultimate escape for me. But it's given me a much deeper appreciation for what the production crew brought to bring the whole film to life. Philip and I were discussing a title for the film, and we decided on the title, The Great Conjunction, The Legacy of the Dark Crystal, because it, it kind of reflects the people who came together to make this film. In the film, it's a big event of three suns lining up. 
For the documentary, it means the film, the creators, and also the fans. And really get an insight on how it influenced and impacted their lives. Recreating aspects of the film or props or drawings, people who've really been inspired by The Dark Crystal. We are making this documentary because we know that it needs to be told. We don't want to do anything that's kind of um, typical. What we want to do is, in our own way, bring this world to life, which is going to be going to be in a, in a small part, yet puppetry and the magic of puppetry, so we can kind of bring people in and out of that world and say, hey, look, we're recreating some, some magic that they used back in the day. We'd love to have as many supporters as possible for the campaign to bring the project to life. 40% of funding will be dedicated to production and post-production. Another 27% of funding pledged will be dedicated to flights and accommodations as we travel to interview fans and even people who took part in creating The Dark Crystal. 10% of funding pledged will be dedicated to unforeseen issues, a safety net to ensure that production is finished. The final 23% of funding pledged will be dedicated towards fulfilling campaign fees and shipping the wonderful rewards we want to give you, the people making this possible. So our hope with this film is to bring a larger audience to appreciate this film and point them back towards the film saying, watch this film and let it take you on a journey that it took us on, that we can really open people's eyes and uh, just get them as excited about this film as we are. Um, so we're really hoping that everybody takes this journey with us and helps support us. Why contribute to our campaign? The Great Conjunction, the legacy of the Dark Crystal, will unlock a door that's been shut for decades. As time has marched on, with the development of technology and storytelling, the Dark Crystal has largely been forgotten. It is our intention to change that, to shine a light on a film that has neither been properly appreciated nor honored. Through our film, we will explore the cutting edge practical effects and the lifelike puppetry of this masterpiece that has lied in stasis, waiting to be rediscovered. Art preservation is important to us. Art can heal, transport, and even transform those who let it. The Dark Crystal transformed us. Won't you please contribute to help us share this transformation with the world?